on the other hand. Daytime with Aston Avery. Now a terrifying show. I'm going to meet some scary guests, but not really that scary, of course, there. Well, Stephen Smith's <laughs> with me as my regular contributor in this part of the show. So hello, Stephen. Good morning. I'm not that scary, am I? No, you're not. <laughs> so uh, obviously, I just want to got my teeth in. Yeah. Well, the first thing we're not going to be talk we're going to be talking about is autism's got talent because that took oh. place over the weekend, and what a show it was. Aston, it was incredible. I mean, really quite moving. I, I, Anna didn't win Women of the Year, but she so deserved it because it was just such a brilliant show. And we've got some of the acts coming on in November, I think. Uh, or over the next six months anyway that we're on. But it was an incredible show, as, as, as I say, and quite moving. Uh, and it's uh, my ninth year of uh, volunteering for it. And I think yours is your 11th year? Something like that. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, Untamed for something, yeah. as they well, say. Uh, but uh, so obviously yeah, uh, the next thing is the Hero Awards, of course, Stephen, yeah, which a lot of us I, cannot wait for. I can't wait for those. And uh, we've got some really great, I think Vicky Michelle's coming from a lower low. Uh, and quite a few other celebrities to 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 uh, cheer us all on, but uh, I'm looking forward to it, Aston. And speaking of awards, uh, yeah. we're going to be chatting to our first guest, and he's a, uh, he ha he's an ultimate in sophistication, but a little bit of a James Bond as well. He's, he's on the quiet. Yeah, he's a, he's a man around town, definitely. Yeah. Of course, but he is the CEO of the London Lifestyle Awards. That's Jason Gale who joins us. So welcome, Jason. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you very much for having me on the show. It's brilliant. Great Good to have you on, Jason. <laughs> I, I get to see Jason all over town looking for fabulous at different events, but we, we hardly get much time to talk. That's the problem with these these events, isn't it? They're so noisy. <laughs> and you get like three minutes with everybody, but it's great to have you on the show, Jason. Thank you so much. Yeah, it is. You know, London's such a busy place and you're oh. sort of like, like ships passing the night quite often in these events, but they're, they're always <laughs> fun. It is actually. So what you, a quick short answer quickly, Jason, what are you doing for Halloween? Actually, I'm going to really disappoint you. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I'm not a big Halloween person in a way, but it's the night after the London Lifestyle Awards. So probably by about eight o'clock that evening, I will be <laughs> hitting the bed, ignoring the doorbell. And um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm sorry, but I, I won't be celebrating that much. Boo humbug. You'll make a great Dracula. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the, the London Lifestyle Awards uh, um, uh, is, is becoming a really big thing. What inspired you to create the Lifestyle Awards? Well, it's, it's interesting, really, because as people who listen to this might be able to tell, I'm actually not from London. I'm actually from uh, um, a place in the north called Beverly, which is just outside of Hull. And yeah. um, <clears throat> I came to London 25 years ago and we immediately fell in love with this city. Um, within uh, days, if not hours, I fell in love with this city and believed it was the greatest city in the world. And... Um, yeah. A big name drop, really. In 2009, I was asked and invited um, to meet Bill Clinton, the ex-president. Oh, my God. And I, I, I couldn't have run there quick enough to meet him. And we had, we had a short but great conversation. And at the end of the conversation, he said, Jason, you realise London is the greatest city in the world. And, and then he went, oops, I shouldn't really have said that as being an ex-American <laughs> president. Anyway, I, I enjoyed the meeting so much. And I thought, that's, this is before the Olympics. This is 2009, before yeah. everybody knew that was a brilliant city. And I went home and I thought, we've got to celebrate this. And I had had some frustration with award ceremonies. And I thought, I want yeah. to celebrate London properly. And I stayed it for two days and wrote the concept for the Lifestyle Awards, wrote the business plan. And um, that's, that's off we went. Jason, we just can't leave us at that. You, we're all sitting at home. You're not you sitting at home. How did you meet Bill Clinton? Who asked you to meet Bill Clinton? Well, so, the I, I was I was a substitute. I was on the subs bench. Uh, uh, quite um, a very wealthy guy was invited to meet him, yeah. and um, because um, he was trying to raise uh, uh, Mr. Clinton. Oh, no, President Clinton, as you always yeah. call them, President Clinton was trying to raise awareness and funds for his foundation, and. Um, I was asked to go along to, to that conversation to encourage maybe some of the people that I know to, yeah. to invest in the, the Clinton Foundation. So we, we, had a, we, had, we had a good chat and it was good and it, inspiring. You know, this is 2009 and he was just an incredible person. And um, yeah, a huge, huge presence. It, it was brilliant. I'll never forget it. Oh, what an honour to do that. I love Bill Clinton. Uh, 
I have to say, uh, Jason, it must be a real honour to actually meet him as well. But obviously, obviously moving from Hull to London here. So for our listeners, what most people like to plan is a good day or even nights out in London. So do you have, do, how do you go about checking you, uh, you're, you're in, making the right choices there, especially if you're in the yeah. London area? Right, yeah, yeah I, it is. And, and, you know, every every other week there's a new great <laughs> restaurant or bar and everything opens up. So you're absolutely right, Aston. We get 2,000 – we're very public orientated. We get 2,000 nominations across our 16 voted for categories. So in we open up in February and all the nominations come in. And uh, as Stephen has adhered to, that I go out quite a lot. <laughs> um, so so I, I sort of do the first narrowing down, but if I don't know a place, um, what are my team will? We also look on what the customers are saying on TripAdvisor and things like that. And we sort of gradually narrow it down to 160 businesses, 10 across each category that we call the top 10. And then that gets announced. And then um, the public vote. So the public voted right in September this year and we had 210,000 votes. So when I'm when I'm going out in London, if it's not for an event and everything, I look at the top 10 restaurants or the top 10 bars, and I, I tick those off the list, and that's where, you know, the ones I go to. Yeah, absolutely. Now, I've got, I've got to bring, the, bring this up. I, I've been to, I mean, I've been around for a little bit, and I've been to so many award ceremonies. There are award ceremonies for opening up an envelope now, and I know that a lot of them are about how much money uh, the nominees put into the thing. Uh, I mean, I know someone that won a business award that knows so little about business; it's unbelievable. Uh, how do you how do you keep in check uh, that you know? Uh, you just mentioned that you got people voting, etc. But I, I, I mean, do you worry about about uh, what ceremonies like these are going on all over now? Uh, it's a great point, Stephen. That's probably one of the main reasons that we set up because I've always gone to award ceremonies, and you'd sit there and you'd know. But you'd know who was winning the award because they'd yeah. bought the most tickets or they'd sponsored or something. And yeah. we have we have very uh, big lines between our sponsors. They can't have a business that can be in the awards. Full stop. That's right. a hard and fast rule. If you're a sponsor, you can't have a business in the awards. Um, uh, and uh, and secondly, for the first year, actually last year, and and this has done this has actually done a lot for us. We had somebody who won an award for the first time ever, that wasn't in the room. And they still got that award. They're yes, still yeah. That award. And that was the first time ever. Sometimes, you know, it upsets people because they, they've they put a load of energy into winning an award, they buy a big table, they do this, and they don't win. But yeah. I think this is why the brand's been going 13 years. Yeah. And this is why we are celebrated and people talk about us. And, you know, a great guy called Errol Douglas is a hairdresser. He, yeah, no, he said last year off his own bat, he said, this is, he's won, you know, Steve, he's won hundreds of awards. He said, this is my favourite award to win because it's voted for by the public. And, um, and, and I yeah. think that's important. You know, people can ask me, what's a great restaurant? I've got some idea. But the most important thing about what a great restaurant is what the public like, what people yeah. like. That's a that's a definition of a great restaurant. Because also, Jason, it's worrying because you get this award, you, you stick it in the window of the shop or whatever it is, and people think they genuinely are the best when, in fact, <laughs> they throw money into getting that award. So, absolutely. yeah, absolutely. I'm really pleased to hear that. Even the nominations, a lot of awards people pay you to nominate. You've got to pay to nominate. There's yeah. like you call it an administration fee where it's £100, £200. But we're leg legitimate. We never charge. We're trying to find the best of the best, what the public like, and celebrate that. And uh, thankfully, that's that actually works. Brilliant. Um, it's brilliant. It absolutely works there, uh, Jason, obviously, there, and, of, and of course there, that uh, obviously that moving from Hull to London. So uh, what you? how did you feel when you first moved to London? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was big. <laughs> um, you know what, the excitement was incredible. I was, I, um, I came here and I made a promise to myself because I loved my, I loved my life in Hull. I loved it. You know, I was, I knew a lot of people. I had a, a, a reasonable um, social network. I had great family there. But I determined when I moved to London, I advise everybody to do this, is don't go home for three months. Because if you go home, it's easier. Life's easier at home. Um, give London a proper chance by not going home for three months. And I remember coming across, I don't remember the a number of the bus, but I remember coming across Westminster Bridge uh, on a bus from the Old Kent Road, which was my first flat, 
and I thought I'm never going to leave and that was in week one week two um, because I was just so excited Um, life was hard you know I didn't have much money you know life was difficult but I was just excited about every day and I was excited about how London looked and how it felt and that excitement's never left me that's brilliant. absolutely brilliant. I've had a few good nights out in Hull, actually. I used, to do wish, I used to do Wish Upon the Star up there, where you right. take the kids to Lapland, and I used to be in charge of getting the celebrities. Uh, it was easy to do London and Manchester, but Hull was a bit more difficult. Uh, so I used to get the, the Emmerdale crowd used to come, and a few other people used to come up from London, including S Club 7 and stuff. But we had some, some good nights out there. Yeah, it can be fun, Steve. It can be great fun. <laughs> Listen, the lifestyle it was, because I've been, okay, I came with Denise Welsh uh, one year. It's a huge, glamorous affair, isn't it? Yeah. So what celebrities can we see this year turning up for you? Well, it, well, it's interesting. We, you know, we've, we've got some great friends that come, you know, often people like Denise and Denise, fantastic. We, um, and we've got great artists performing this year as well. So yeah. we've got on the bill, we've got Ben Hay now's band. Uh, I don't know if you yeah. remember Ben, but when you remember from The X Factor, but when he plays with his band as well, it's is exceptional. We've yeah. got Lucy Kay performing as well. It was a run up in BGT. She's an opera crossover artist. Yeah. And then we've also got Tobias Turley, who I don't know if you saw announced last night this new Mamma Mia. Uh, I have a dream show. He's he's, he's oh yes, with Alan yes, Carr. Yes, yes. It got announced last night that he's in that. So he's only doing a number two for us, but we're excited about that because he's he, on Sunday night, he's going to be in this great new ITV show. And then we'll have, you know, we'll hope to have some guests from Strictly Come Dancing will be with us. Just some great, you know, TV yeah. and music people, Steve. So we're excited yeah. as always. It is it is glamorous. I've got a... I've got oh, it a, is a really glamorous affair. It's, 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 it's really a really good night. Are there still some uh, tickets for sale? Or is it sold yes, out? We've still, got, we've still got a few left. We have got a few left. We're at the Grosvenor on Park Lane this year. So it's a big oh, old right. space. So That's we have huge. Still, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're there. So, um, yeah, we're, we're very excited. And there is tickets still on sale by going to the website you can you can get the, get a ticket if you want mom okay now i don't want to put you on the spot here but you know you are a bit of a man around town and you've got some of the most gorgeous women on your arms aren't you <laughs> can you give aston some advice on dating please i'm trying to get aston, to do you need advice yeah no, got a bit of advice here how could you go oh he's going to kill me now uh, how can you get <laughs> what's what's your tips on dating because you're a little bit of a james bond character aren't you you know <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know about that. It's probably. Do you know what? Somebody asked me this the other day. A, a little magazine piece that I did. Asked them I think you've turned off your video. Oh, I'm back. I'm back. Um, somebody asked me about this the other day for a magazine piece that uh, I was contributing to, and I was quite surprised. And they said, "Oh, you've dated all these beautiful women, etc." Um, <laughs> It's the same as business, I think. The best thing I ever learned, it was a business guy taught me and said, he said, all you have to do in business, and I think it's the same with dating, all you have to do is stick your hand out and go, hi, my name's Jason, or my name's Jason Gale. And that's <laughs> that's what you've got to do, Aston. Just say hello. <laughs> that's probably short and sweet there, I have to say there, uh, Jason. But uh, that being said, and thank you, Stephen, for putting me on the spot. What would be the perfect date help. night out in London, would you say, Jason? Oh, well, I'm a big... Um, I always try and combine a few things one uh, on one night. So I love my restaurants. I love dinners. But I also love the theatre as well. So I'd probably combine the two. I'd I'd pick a top ten restaurant and go there, and then and then go to the theatre. Maybe save dessert till after the theatre. Well, so um, favorite, yeah, that's, favorite... I like to combine theatre and dinner. That's my favourite date. I what's think. your favourite show at the moment? Oh well, I always go see Le Mis every year, every single year. I've probably <laughs> seen it fifteen, sixteen times. So I can't get over that show. So I go see that. But I did see Miss Doubtfire a couple of weeks ago, oh, and that was be awesome. Fun. Yeah, it's supposed to be really good, isn't it, Mrs. Doubtfire? Apparently, yeah. yeah. yeah I really did good. enjoy I to that. See that. It didn't do very well in America, but it's done really well over here. Apparently, no, no, no. It's good, and the 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 performances in it's superb. But um, yeah, but you know, you can't beat Lemis. But Lemis is not a great date show. It's a bit heavy. <laughs> uh-huh. I was yeah. going to say, she'll be crying into your arms. That's the idea, isn't it? You're getting her to cry <laughs> into your arms. There, Aston. <laughs> Enough said, listen really. To, listen, um, uh, how can people find you and how can we buy tickets for the evening? 
Well, we go, we go through a website at www.britishlifestyleawards.com and for and slash London for London. So it so you can find me on there, uh, and you can um, there's a there's a tab for tickets. So BritishLifestyleAwards.com. So, Jason, it's always a pleasure to have you on and come back on on here again soon when you can. Of the course, there. I really look forward to that. Thanks, guys. Does really need it. more tips? <laughs> yeah. I'll try how I can. Thanks, Jason, for coming on. We'll see you Thank soon. Thank you. Thank you, Jason. Bye. Take care.